It's late, but I'm just gonna let's do this. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna draw yet. Oh, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil. We're gonna do like a what I call like a whippy. This is sort of whip it up. Yeah, it's kind of Volkswagen Porsche kind of thing. Organic looking monster with a, <clears throat> you know, it's got a real classic yet like an animal, almost animal-ish. So this is like the, you know, almost like the, like the hips of the car, you know, this would be like, you know, the front of the car, the fenders, you know, you got a real nice dip right here that I'll take advantage of, you know, a convertible type of thing, and then, um, you know, stay with perspective, you know, the warped perspective perspective but it's there and then um, I might leave that area for just a second come around here just keep it keep that theme going of the round shapes you know the wheels kind of turn in so you got to put the arch in and then I'll just kind of like an implied arch And it's real kind of doing a lot of, you know, maybe some sliding going on. This would be the wheel arch. And then bring it up here and just connect that, you know, that wheel arch is separate from the, from the tires. And then <clears throat> over here, you got the lights, but you might have like a, like a bezel to the light so you gotta let you gotta give it some you know what I mean some room and then you gotta make sure that you're staying consistent so I draw some some guidelines you know this one this would be like in here um cartoonish kind of thing Maybe we'll come, just come in there just a little bit to emphasize what's happening. I do a, I, I like to do like a kind of an archy kind of real ridiculous looking, you know, uh, windscreen. Almost like out of a f fighter jet or something from a different time. Cut it off there and then you know bring that bring that down so that you know type of thing now I might even let's see how many it might be convertible I'm not sure yet uh, let's put you know sometimes if I don't know I'll just keep touching other parts of the car and then I come around you know I know I want yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with convertible this time. And just bring that down and then bring it back, up, subtly bring it back up. And then I might even turn it around to just finish that. And tuck it in around the back of the wheel. Actually, that's a little bit too, too much for me. There, it's got to end it. You know, because you would have the bumper coming around and the wheel, the back of the wheel would be showing, so you want to just leave that. And then you got to have perspective on it, so you'd see more tire than you'd see rim. And then if you're going to put, like, if you're going to put this in, you know, and then you can kind of just imply that it's dished a little bit. <clears throat> this was, this was last night's drawing. I went crazy on this one. Yeah, this was ha! Ah, this was so much fun. I'm gonna take it out so that I don't ruin it because it's on the backside. 
Okay. And, uh, you know, there we go. And then this guy is like, he's, you know, kind of maybe doing this. And you got to, you know, you make noises like, you know, there's the lights. And there's, there's a bit of a, like a dark shadow there because it's, it's all chrome on the inside. So there'll be, you know, sometimes there'll be just like this, you know. Now this part here, you got to get rid of that tire because you wouldn't see it. So you just go in and use the eraser at almost like a brush, like an eraser brush. Come in there and clean that up. This too, that would not be there. And then don't, like I don't wipe my hand, I take the brush. Cause it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't smudge, unless I want to smudge, which I will. So I'll show you an example of that right now. So when I smudge, I'll follow the curves just a little bit and then I'll cross them, but I'll cross them in the other, the other curvy direction. And then I can kind of do this with my, with my thumb. I'll just, you know, it's kind of like Bob Ross. You're sort of having fun with it. You're, you know, you're talking about it. Alright, there's a little bit of an arch coming out of there. And then in here, behind the tire, you're not going to see any light in inside that vehicle right there. And this part here, you really got to define the edge of it. You know, and your arm, you know, you have, like there's a joint here. And then you have your, this, you know, so you have to go with wh where the arches are in your arm. Don't fight it. You know, and now the tire's like really popping out there. I mean, it's a little ridiculous, not kind of realistic, but, <clears throat> but it's good, you know. And then uh, in here, you know, you know this, like if you were to, if you were to cut this car right here, like, let's say... Maybe it's got some really cool clamshell design to it. The way you access the engine or s something like that. So then maybe we could do that. So let's just follow that. You know, it would do this. And then you wouldn't see it uh, down there. And then it would come up and then go back up again. Very Porsche-ish style type of thing, you know. Uh, we could even put a little smudge in there to show and you can use the eraser because this is a top line this would be like a highlight line and then same and same back here you would highlight that because it's going to get hit by the sun the most and then but down here it won't you know and I'll just clean this up just a little bit just to define it a little bit and you know you're when you you're at, this is rubbing all the time so you got to clean that up um, okay, anyway, this is a lot of talking. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can just do it. And then, let's see. So there'd be a little bit of a difference between the door and the cabin and then you got to open the door so we'll put another another body part separation right here but you got to follow the contours of the of the body right there okay all right it's looking it's looking like something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And then, uh, you know, you can even, you could, let's see, if this were split and this were dished, it's facing down, and down is where there's less light than facing up. So you go in there. But then the opposite's true about this little centerpiece. So that would be like light 
and then what happens is it kind of makes it pop a little bit better than if you didn't do that again you you cross it and then you get, you know there's a lot of lines here but you could just pick the one you want yeah you gotta practice doing that I know it I know that it looks easy but it's not it's a little stiff that's why there's whatever okay you know you come up here and then the same thing with the tire the the this is facing the sky so it's light and then you know these are all just organic forms you know all right uh, this thing here let's see that that's a little bit like it's got to be organic but it can't be droopy it's got to have a shape to it so you get rid of that a little bit and then um you know maybe since it's so open there you might actually see some of the tire there and then you know you try and pretend like the thing's real you know might even throw in a grill of some kind I don't know. Just, I mean, it kind of looks like a smile, but, you know, whatever. That's what this stuff is. Jaguar. They call a Jaguar a Jaguar. That's not a coincidence. It's because they want it to look like a freaking animal. You know, that's why they that's why they name these things like that, you know. Sometimes you just put, like, a line in just to define it, you know. Uh, all right, let's get back here. Let's Let's get some... Some shade from the, you know, because the fender's overlying it, so the sun would be blocked. And then up here, there is a like an end to that tire. I'm gonna find it, you know, right here. So even if that's just a little bit, that little bit makes it pop. And you know, this one's kind of this dark line here is like interrupting what's going on. Really should be like. You know, the, the tire should be the dark one. I might even... I saw this guy in college, he used to outline everything. It kind of helps. It's kind of a cheat, but it kind of helps. Yeah, it helps. Um, Alright, and then I guess this would be like... Because this is like a luxury automobile. So it might have like... It might be lined with a... Some sort of leather brim of some kind you know you don't want to or rubber or whatever I don't know. Now, let's get in there and just do this a little bit and then, you know and then let's clean this up this has got to get cleaned up in here you know and you know the more noises you make the better you know you just kind of you know it, let's see, you might, you might see some of that other tire. So we'll just put it in there. And then I kind of just do like a gravity shadow impact thing. I, it doesn't really make much sense, but I just sort of, you know, this is like where the car is sitting. So it's it's got to have some sort of shadow going on. I mean, it looks like water, but I guess. Okay, now is maybe it's got... You know, maybe it's got these, like, seats, old school, you know, these nice old school pattern, you know, seats that have, like, a embedded, I don't know what these, call, I don't know what they call these, but, like, an old Corvette would have this, maybe, or some sort of, you know, and that'll help define the interior a little bit. And then you could, you know, just do implied, but you don't want to do too much through that windshield. Uh, you know, so you could say, all right, well. Now what's, oh, this, okay. So this, now uh, let's just come straight across. Screw it, you know. Uh, okay. All right, now, okay, let's do this. 
I'm just gonna arbitrarily just kind of make a pizza pie and then I'm gonna say well it's got these cool you know vent circle things and then this way you make it even by planning it out you plan it out first and then because you plan it out then it's going to have more of a like a thought out looking thing and then if it's a hole it's definitely going to have like a dark spot behind it but not entirely because it's beveled so you make them just look like you just think like oh, okay where would the highlight be so it's always on the inside going in I think I messed up one of these but it doesn't really it's not that important and then yeah you could do it out here too these are not well spaced out you just kind of I mean people know at this point what it is cut this up a little bit you know and I, we're getting there I mean it's insane uh, okay, this one here is looking a little, let's fix this up just a little bit. And then that's going to have like super shine on it because that would be chrome. So you got to make sure, you know, and then, uh, I don't know, we're close to done. I'm just, I, you know, we just a real quick drawing and, uh, just clean this up just a little bit, fix this part here. Okay, make sure, you know, get rid of that. That seems okay to me. This part here, maybe we'll just do that, just to define that edge. And then, um, I don't know, It probably more, but, oh wait, okay. Maybe this, maybe this would be dark. Because it's on the downside, and then this might be a little bit dark. Yeah, that helps it out a little bit, right? Man, it looks cool, you know, it's just like, what? Okay, alright, let's put the logo in, and let's, let's end it. Okay, logo looks like this. This is the pencil sharpener logo. Mr. G's workshop. I got classes on welding, and uh, I mean, I could teach this to you as well. Uh, we're doing an electric car class coming up, and we got also um, some uh, small engine class, and then uh, and this just comes down here, this goes up here like this, and it's got, you know, it's an old school sharp pencil sharpener. And you know, Mr. Then the G is like a circle with a long shelf on the inside here. And I just go, Mr. Oh my god, this pencil is shot. Mr. G's, and then I put in workshop, but this pencil shot. It's okay, and uh, it's a little off center, but I was kind of, you know, it, I got the camera here, so it's, I'm thinking about the camera as well, so it's kind of like, it's almost like someone watching you, you know, you know, so whatever. Okay, today is the second, I think, yep, oh, I almost put a one, two, zero, jeez, oh my god, all right, let's see. Maybe just a little bit of the other part there. That's it. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I'm Mr. G, and that was your, that's your daily, your daily drawing. And we got all kinds of Hot Wheels stuff and whatnot, and I'm gonna do all kinds of requests. So taking requests, Mr. G's workshop, see you later.